Hello! This video is part of a series where I read over old issues of my comic Hellgate and give some commentary. Hellgate started in 2003 when I was 15 and ran till 2009. You can read it for free at JaegerComics.com. This footage was captured from my streams over at twitch.tv slash Jaeger underscore comics. This is Hellgate Battle 37, How It First Ended, from 2008. Last time on Hellgate Battle 36, I must kill you. Neil fought the Demon Prince. After a long battle, Neil was able to beat the Demon Prince. The Demon part was slain, and Mike Olive was changed back to normal, much to Neil's relief. So, to get us a little bit caught up, um, of course, the Demon Prince was Neil's friend, turned into a demon. Um, important thing we knew about the Demon Prince is that he kind of served as like a, um, a last resort for the Demon King, and that... Uh, with the Demon Prince gone, it seems the Demon King is ready to finally put an end to all this. So first, we see we have the, de the Demon Castle. Oh, here comes the little cow demon. Looks like he's got the great sword pendant. Meow. Meow. The explosion I worked so hard for didn't amount to anything. He was able to control the explosion, make it harmless to the environment. And the Demon Prince is gone. And the whole reason I created him was... Castle! Land! Demons! Go forth! And kill everyone in the city! Here we see a two-page spread of absolute mayhem. Welcome to Peoria, Illinois. Oh no. That's near Eureka. That's near. That's where. That's near. That's near Neil's hometown. And um, some random hotel called Tate's Hotel. Got the lobby. I miss Hippo. What happened to that penguin? He stayed in Antarctica. I got a potty. <sighs> This is the first morning I haven't woken up in pain since I fought the Demon Prince. He's all covered up in cuts. Mister, turn on the news. Something big happened. Click. It seems that everyone in the city was killed. Bodies are in. Bodies line the streets. It seems by the by this picture that the demons have made a base in Peoria, Illinois. Uh. Hey, what if I... Oh, this is what Jesse sees. Uh, Neil, that girl's a demon. Catch me if you can. Wait, I have questions for you. They run after her and... Oh. Who the hell are you? I like to think of myself as the demon princess. The demon king will wait for you in the castle for one month. You have till then to go and fight him. Should you fail to show up, he'll move on to another city and kill off everyone there as well, and the cycle will continue. Ta-ta, Demon Slayer. So the time has come. Cut ahead to hang out on the roof. You know, got the gem. The gem is supposed to make it possible to slay every demon at once, but it's warped and won't do that anymore. So even if I beat the Demon King, this still leaves all the other demons left to slay. How did the first Demon Slayer finish things up? It took him 28 years of Demon Slaying to finally track down the Demon King. 2,000 years ago, Europe. By then, he had a wife and son. It's time to end this. I won't go down easy. You're getting old, Jaeger. You should have let your son take over years ago. The boy knows better than to touch my sword. And he went demonic. And they clash swords, and a swing, and a stab, but a dodge. And, oh. That looks like the Jaeger backspin, but the Demon King blocks it. 
kick to the face. Oh, sends him up flying. Multiple demons arm volley. Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> so much power, but your father will win. Sheath the sword, starts gathering demonic energy. Go to stretch! But the Demon King just bats it away. The Demon King deflected the God Slash like it was nothing. At this rate, Jaeger should be able to slay the Demon King. That'll leave me stuck in this body and unable to pass on. Unless I do something to prove I don't deserve this punishment anymore. Flies in and... What the hell? Jaeger, I got his eyes covered. Take him out. Demon, stop. I'll beat him on my own. You're in the way. <laughs> Mr. Demonic. Jaeger. Demon King. And they both swing their swords in, but both lose their swords. Thum, thum. They lock arms. I see losing your eye hasn't slowed you down. Don't need it. You will, I will lose to a mortal. You don't have a choice. Headbutt. Gah! Damn you. Kick in the face. Knocks him down. Oh. The gym. I'll use the fuse with more demons and grow stronger. <laughs> when the sword went through the demon king's gut, it hit me too. You may seal us back in the Hellgate, but we will get out again. And when I'm out, I'll make your descendant's life a living nightmare. His demonic energy will consume him until he explodes. And I was sealed in the sword with the Demon King. Then Jaeger used the gem to slay the rest of the demons. So then the Demon King was... So when the Demon King was slain... He split up into the many demons he was made of. And you ended up in that perverted demon I found you in. And you got it. The Demon King doesn't know about the power of my third form. And he doesn't know about my dragon twister. I will use that against him. That month seemed to go by so fast. We see Neil looking over the sword and the gem. Demonic thinking. Jessica fixing her hair. Oh, camera set up. All being cute. Demonic transforming Jesse into a fighting partner. Some sparring. Courtney watching on. And the Demon King waiting too. Before we knew it, it was the night before the final battle. Tomorrow I fight the Demon King. Let's make love. Next time on Hellgate, Battle 38, Showdown. The final battle is here. Neil goes after the Demon King. Can Neil defeat the Demon King once and for all? And we got another... Um... I think this is loading weird. They're like clipping weird. There we go. Uh, we got another photo set, which I'll go over in the commentary. This cover's fun. Um, it's the first time we see uh, Neil's ancestor, Jaeger, who I later finally named Bannon, um, in his demonic form. I always love putting him on the cover so you know that he had blue hair, not gold hair. And the first time we see the Demon King powered up, covered in those markings uh, in demon letters. Not, not a bad cover, not a bad composition. I had this weird thing where like I just kind of posed people in weird ways. Didn't really make sense. Like, what what are you guys about to do? Um, yeah, we got the Flappy Cow Demon retrieving the uh, Great Sword Pendant again. And then, yeah, we have this two-page spread of the destruction of Peoria. Um, 
I don't know where in Peoria that's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't have a specific place in mind. Um, but I just want a city to be the battlefield. We got, we got this giant demon. We got dragon. We got this lady just been stabbed. She's hanging out a window. This car. I kind of like that car. That car kind of like skid off the road there. Because a demon popped through the top of it. I like this worm coming in and out of this building. And then this, this demon just has a fucking cannon. Just blasting. Just blasty cannon demon. Um, <laughs> Neil Shirt just says eat cheese. Not sure what's up with that. Um, this is also where I established that Hippo stayed behind in Antarctica in the last issue. Or the issue before that, actually. Um, so, Jesse's sad that there's no more Hippo. Oh, we got Courtney doing one like Cat's Cradle. And Jessica's bouncing a ball on her foot. Yeah, I'm glad I, I put some character into this. Um, I'm glad they're not all just like sitting normal. And yeah... Neil's covered in scars from the demonic explosion issue, and then he's got active scabs from the fight with the demon prince. And here we see the girl was a demon, and this is our first appearance of the um, the demon princess, um, who, if you if you've been watching me work on the new issue of Heaven Gate. Um, we see a lot more of her a lot later. Um, I won't go into here my plans for her. Maybe maybe once we do commentary of the issue I'm currently working on, whenever that gets happens, uh, I'll talk more about what my plans were her when I first introduced her and how that changed to what I ended up doing with her. And then we got the setup for the um, flashback. I wanted to show the original Demon Slayer um, final fight with the Demon King. Um, originally i was gonna put this after the finale because the it was I, I couldn't put it before because i was afraid it was going to spoil something for the actual finale but i ended up cutting that part that would have been a spoiler so i was able to put it sooner um and i'm glad i did because this works out better this is the first time we see um his family um we have his wife i don't i don't think i ever gave her a name and I've had other ideas for what his wife could be, and I feel kind of it kind of sucks. I just kind of gave him like this bland woman here. I've had this idea where like like what if he like had seduced a priest at some point? Because I've I've played with the idea of making a whole series about Neil's ancestor. Um, I'm never gonna do that, so I guess it doesn't matter now. But uh, but we see his son for the first time. Um, of course, he needs a son if he's going to be Neil's ancestor. Um, uh, I believe this character's name is Bronson, which means, I think, like, son of the Dark One. Um, and his design is basically Neil, except that he has shorter hair and he has, like, stubble. But other than that, that's just Neil there um, in terms of, like, hairstyle and, and face and eyes type. Um, and then here we see um, Bannon. Um, he's a lot older than the last time we saw him in a flashback. He's got gray in his mustache his goatee and he's got a streak in his hair he's apparently lost an eye at some point this again is 28 years into demon slaying for him he's got some like some some wrinkles under his eyes he's he's getting up there um and then here we see the the demon king um go full power for the first time um i like this form i'm looking forward to drawing again soon just not a fan of his execution um eyes are so huge um and here we see um bannon in uh his demonic form for the first time we've not seen this before um but we know neil has his base form or his, his, his first transformation the demonic form and then the long-haired form um and we know already that bannon did achieve the long-haired form but did not see the point of it because it came, it comes from feelings of love, and he didn't feel like they had a place on the battlefield, so he never unlocked that thing's full potential, which is why the Demon King doesn't know to expect it. Um, Bannon preferred the demonic form above all else, and so he really cultivated that form. So we have demonic versus demonic here. Another classic sword exchange from the Hellgate era. Um, it's subtle, but this is supposed to be the Jaeger backspin that we saw a bit earlier. 
uh, well, we've seen it we've seen it in a previous ban and issue and we've seen that neil knows how to use it but here's how we see here we see that it doesn't work on the demon king the demon king how, can counter it um um I illustrate this better in having a, but the, basically the Jager backspin move is basically you start crouch and you block with your sword and then you do a quick 360 turn and slash before they have a chance to, um, where the, before they have a chance to recompose themselves because that, that spin kind of knocks their sword out of their guard. But um, he kicks them way up in the air. And then we got the, we've seen the demon's arm technique once before. Um, this is the first time we've seen him shoot off multiple ones. I, I like this frame here. I like this frame where you got the blasts getting closer to the viewer. And you can see with these markings that he's kind of dodging back and forth from each one. Great job, younger me. Um, you, you you pulled off what you were trying to do there. Um, the background leaves some to be desired, but whatever. Uh, and we see that the de that that move actually like tears up his arm. Like his arm is all scorched, but he's immortal, so it's gonna heal. Um, and then we see Bannon use the God Slash, but he says God Strike, which is German for God Slash. Um, but the Demon King can counter that. Uh, and here we get a little bit of clue about Demonic. Um, we uh. We'll learn more in Heaven Gate, but here's where we get the idea that maybe he doesn't want to be, um, that he's being, um, yeah, stuck in this body, unable to pass on. And he's trying to find a way to prove he doesn't deserve this punishment. That We'll learn more about that in Heaven Gate. But he tries to intervene, and <laughs> the Demon King just literally fucking swallows him. I, I kind of love that. I, I think that came out really well. Um. Bannon doesn't give a shit. His wife, his wife is worried. She, she's, she's getting up there too. She's got a lot of wrinkles. They go in and they, they lock arms. There's some banter. You, know, you should let your son take over, which is true. Like his son could have been a demon slayer. It's, it's anyone of Jaeger blood can, can wield the sword, but Bannon's too proud to give that up. Despite the fact he's getting up there in age. Um, and then the demon king gets desperate. He's going to fuse with more demons, but boop. Bannon threw the sword while he was thinking. And that is how Demonic ended up inside of a demon. Because that's where we found him way back in issue three of Hellgate. He was inside a demon. So he got swallowed by the demon king. The demon king, who is made up of many demons. When he got slain, he got split back up. And Demonic was in one of those demons. Um, and then Jaeger... Use the gem to slay the rest of the demons. How does that work? We will actually see that in a few more issues. We, I do show, we basically pick up where this leaves off in a in issue forty one. Yeah, forty one, the second to last issue, the penultimate issue. Um. And yeah, I like this little this slice of life stuff. You know, and you're just kind of contemplating. <laughs> I don't know why you let the sword have a nice bed, but I like this this drawing of demonix. Great, I love this drawing of demonix. I think that still holds up. Jessica just kind of checking out her hair. Them being cute. I think it's the last time we will probably ever see Jesse's um, transformation. Really underutilized. Um, underutilized in the series. The idea was that like Neil needed a training partner. So Demon can turn Jesse into a fighter that's comparable to wherever Neil's at. But he's still not good enough fighting demons because he can't slay them that only the Jaeger sword can do that so his only purpose is to spar with Neil but I don't know I only showed that a couple times so I would probably cut that idea entirely if I was rewriting Hellgate because it's just unnecessary <laughs> it was a it was a random idea that just feels weird in hindsight and um yeah and then we end with this uh this shocker of a line let's make love so I'll talk about this right here um, there is an issue before issue 38. It is issue 37.5. It follows directly after Courtney makes this statement and ends before the sun rises. So you can kind of assume what that issue is about. Um, that issue is for adults only. Um, it was... I just wanted to give it a try. I wanted to give it a try. Um, 
and it's it's okay it's fascinating considering i was drawing a bunch of stuff i had yet to do <laughs> a little a little peek into my history um and uh yeah it's um i won't be doing commentary for that one it's not safe for twitch two it's not safe for youtube and three i don't want to make a pornhub account just to read erotica to you people <laughs> I, I thought about that for a second. I was like, well, I could I could upload it to Pornhub. <laughs> Pornhub's basically YouTube without nudity rules. But I was like, I don't want to read this out loud. <laughs> um, but the important thing is, is that is all the issues about. It's just them hooking up. There's no plot in there. Um, it's just a little bit of a character moment between the two. So, um, not safe for work, Patreon gift. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's, you're not missing anything by not seeing it. Um, that's why it's called 37.5. I didn't want people to even realize they were missing out if they, you know, if they weren't seeing it. Um, so we'll see where that picks up when we get to 38. And I'll talk about this real quick. This is the third photo set. Uh, again, the idea behind this was, is that you'd be able to, well, one, back when the issues were print, and I print these out, you'd get this just as slipped into your issue, it wouldn't be stapled in. And then you would be able to cut these out. And you have the big one you could maybe put up somewhere, and then the small ones you could put in your wallet, you know. Pre-cell phones, when we all have all the photos in the world with us, you had these little plastic sleeves in your wallets where you would put photos in. Um, and that was my idea for these. And so we got the lineup, um, and then we got Jessica, Courtney back to back. We got some smooching between Neil and Courtney. We got uh, Neil enjoying some ramen. That still looks pretty solid, especially that hand. Oh my god, can't believe I drew that um, chopstick hand that well back then. Uh, we got the return of the fact that Neil's third form is very attractive in universe. It's very attractive. Um, uh, Jesse's sad again. I believe he was uh, the running gag for this last one is that Jesse's always um, alone for these. Um, and now he is alone again because Hippo's gone. Um, and then Mixed Master Demon. Like, I don't know why I went with that. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and I'd love to read your comments below. And make sure you're subscribed so you know when the next comic goes up. Also, check the description for a playlist of any readings you may have already missed. And if you'd like to read ahead, all of these comics are free on my website, JaegerComics.com. Bye!